G'day, welcome back to the Woodlife. Thought uh, this is a bit of video I actually took a couple of weeks ago, but I thought I'd actually put this up, uh, mostly because I had a bit of a technical problem during the week, and um, uh, the wife actually came with me last Saturday, and we all sort of had a bit of a mishap where we dropped the GoPro with the new microphone um, receiver on it, and um, yeah tended to kill the lead on it so uh, I've had to find another lead and I completely forgot to find it this week so yeah needless to say the that's why the there's no audio on this video because it's a bit crackly and uh, yeah I found the new lead so we're back to recording again uh, this was uh, as I said a couple of weeks ago I'm actually changing trailers over because this was uh, before not the boat we just did, but the one before, um, I had to change, uh, drop off my lead and my dolly, because I was going up to cart uh, chicken crap with the back one. So I'm just going around the yard here uh, to put the back trailer out of the way, and then drop my lead and the dolly, and hook back onto the B trailer. So yeah, needless to say, this week I didn't actually get much footage, just purely because I, of that uh, audio lead, and jumping between various different jobs this week, started out carting hay, went on to, uh, I went on to a boat, and then um, uh, did general on Friday. So what you can see me doing here at the moment is I'm disconnecting the air leads, the trailer wiring lead and the ABS lead and um, I then hang them up so that they're not going to get caught on anything I then have to take off the uh, um, uh, hydraulic lead I have to wind down the legs pull the turntable and you can just see me here at the moment turning off taps uh, as you can see, I'm talking to you here, but um, when I pulled around before, you would have seen my car sitting in the shed, which my wife and all the kids were in, and taking my eldest stepson for a drive, his first ever drive on his learners, and she had my other microphone on her, and the um, you can hear them prattling away in the car while I'm trying to explain to you what I'm doing here. I was also testing out the microphones because uh, this was the first time I'd actually used them uh, walking around the trailers and everything. I wanted to see how well the audio worked from where it was right down the back, which they're actually pretty awesome. Uh, not sponsored by them or anything. So I'm not going to bother leaving a link because, uh, yeah, there's no benefit to me. I paid outright for them. I have no sponsors at this stage. Obviously, apart from the boss who pays my wage. Uh, also had a bit of an in, uh, sort of a problem last week where on a council road, and at the moment you can see my dolly looks nice with the two mud flaps on the front there. Well, it's now got uh, two new mud guards on the front with no mud flaps because I hit a pothole and um, tore both of the front mud guards off at the same time. Was not at all impressed, not at all happy, but hey, things get broken, it goes with the job. You can see me arguing with that hydraulic coupling there at the moment. That's because they build up with dust, and um, I should have actually probably taken a can of CRC down and sprayed it out first. After arguing with it for a little while, I do get it off put the dust cap in there to stop uh, dust from getting up into the uh, into the hydraulic fitting because that dust will actually damage the seals and yeah when I hung that hydraulic hose up there the last time I sort of did it in a way so it wouldn't move um, a few days ago I actually caught um, the wiring it uh, dropped down a little bit and it actually caught in the on the on an air fitting on the side of the tank and actually broke my um, trailer plug thank goodness it didn't do any other damage but 
I had to fix that before I could go on the uh, boat, which you've already seen. Sorry for my casual clothing, but I was actually doing this on a Sunday. And, um, yeah, we'd uh, been at church and I... Uh, when we're on our way home, uh, dropped in just to quickly do this before I started uh, the next morning. So as you can see, I've just pulled the dolly out from under the bee trailer. I'll now swing around the yard and uh, I'll drop my A trailer and uh, hook onto the back trailer with just the prime mover. See right there on the right hand side is the uh, B double flat tops with the tandem dolly still behind. We hadn't quite finished the hay that I was doing the other week yet, so they stayed down there until we completed that, which we finally completed last week. Here I've already unhooked the airlines and the wiring and wound down the legs and pulled the turntable pin on my A trailer. The only thing I had left was the hydraulic line, which you'd already seen me do once, so I um, didn't show you me actually taking the fitting off because um, I thought there was no need. But you can see me pulling away from the A trailer and I'll back up onto the B trailer ready for the next day. Anyone who wants to say anything about me just uh, pulling around there and doing a loop around the yard rather than reversing up, yep, you're right, I was feeling lazy. I didn't really feel like uh, reversing around the yard, uh, reversing back up the yard, so I just did a loop. If you could take notice, uh, I haven't actually stopped to wind my legs up at all because the reason being that um, if you saw how much lift I had on that uh, skid plate just then when I backed under it, uh, the legs are actually already off the ground so what you'll see here is I'll actually back uh, be hooking up the air lines which that's the supply line which supplies air back to the trailers next is a blue line which is a control line that controls your brake operation we have the lights and then the last one is the ABS lead that's for ABS on the trailers, the same setup as ABS on your car, or EBS, they also call it, Electronic Braking System or Anti-Lock Braking System. So you've just seen me walk back, I'm winding up the legs, 
walk back around and uh, hook up the hydraulic hose. And that was it. That was it done for the day. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch this and uh, I will endeavour to have a better video out for you very shortly. Uh, this week I'm actually having an extremely long weekend as I'm having tomorrow off as well uh, as I recorded this uh, on Monday, the audio for this video. And I'll be back at it on Wednesday, which I think we're carting lime. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.